Spot that Quirkus? Do you have something? Hold here, Quirkus. I need a moment with our friend. Shield, we are about to enter the belly of the beast. To cross a threshold past which there may be no hope of return. There's every chance the servants of the great Acorn will skin you alive. Frying your bones and boiling your eyes. You could suffer most terrible. I am getting to the point, Quirkus. The point is, the path ahead is dangerous. Ah, no, no. I need to stay on my own path. I do not know what lies ahead, but the great acorn is almost here. I can feel it in my fur. The forces of evil will throw everything they have against us, but I need more time to finish my research. You have been a good shield and an excellent friend. Quirkus and I both believe you can buy us the time we need. <laughs> Infuriating as he may be, he has not been wrong yet. Now, it will take more than Quirkus's ferocity and my wit if you're going to survive. You need power, and I think I have just the thing. After our last little escapade with your Void Woken, I examined the corpses you left behind. They were imbued with dark power. But I believe I... Sorry, Quirkus believes, and I concur, that this magic can be used for light as well as darkness. Here, try this. The squirrel lays his hand on you, and a strange feeling ripples through your body. A sense of power. Your mind opens to the possibilities of new magic. Now, how do you think it feels, Quirkus? The spell is a little unusual, I admit. It harnesses the power of those that you've slain and lets you use it against those you've yet to kill. I admit, I thought it was a beautiful little piece of irony, but it is somewhat grim. I'll grant you that. But if you need proof that grim arts can lead to marvelous things, you need only look at Quirks. Now you have all the power you need. You were a wonderful shield as we fled, but we are not running anymore. Now you must become the Axe. Go, my friend, and lay waste to the forces of the Acorn. Hack them to pieces! Snap their spines and burn their eyes and... <clears throat> and Quirkus says, good luck. This would never have happened under Lucian, at least not to us. Never have happened under Lucian, at least not to us. The bastards burn well, I'll say that. This would never have happened under Lucian, at least not to us. Bastard Burnwell. I'll say that for him. If we're not careful, we'll burn the world. 
The paladin wistfully hums a tune. You recognize the air. Smoke gets in your hair. As he hums, the words come back to you. There's no smoke without fire. Dark the air. Nothing burns in rainfall and smoke gets in your hair. He rolls his eyes and turns back to the flames. That was Rosewood's favorite song and Rosewood's dead. You didn't know Rosewood. Leave his favorite song alone. Rosewood's dead. And these are the monsters that did it. We mourn our own around here. The work will wait. running as red as the street. A pale young man gazes at the square, seemingly lost in his thoughts. His face and clothes are daubed in what appears to be red paint. Nearby, a canvas sits upon an easel. He momentarily snaps out of his daze and shoots you an indignant scowl. It's at times like this that I must paint. The drama, the violence, the sheer emotion of it all. The great schism of the divine order and the ruination of arcs. This will be my masterpiece. Hmm. I usually only display completed works, but, well, this painting's raw power is already plain to see. Here, feast your eyes. He gestures to the canvas. It's completely covered in the same shade of red, layer after layer. It's sodden, dripping onto the cobbles. I am an artist. I do not do vanity commissions. Not shock, no. Perhaps a little lightheaded. He tugs back the sleeve of his tunic to reveal a blood-soaked cloth bandage around his wrist. It was my father's technique. He was the finest painter of his generation, and he used his own blood for his masterwork. The final panel of The Sacrifice of Lucian. He was also quite the sorcerer. Magic-infused blood can be used to produce the most vivid effects, if you're skilled enough. For the most part, a copy can be seen at the Great Cathedral here in Arx. I visit frequently for inspiration. 
But the original panel, the one that my father used his blood to depict Lucian's final sacrifice, was given to Lord Kem a long time ago. He keeps it locked away somewhere in that mansion of his. A masterpiece like that should be on public display for all to see. Self-preservation is a petty concern. I must put the spiritual above the corporeal. I must finish. The spirit of an older man observes the nearby painter. He tut-tuts to himself. That poor boy is wasting his time walking upon well-trodden paths. I thought I raised him better than that. Did you tell him what you thought of his little picture? Unfortunate, isn't it? He isn't without talent, but he never overcame the fact that he was my son. Of course, my finest work. I drew upon everything I had for that piece, all of my skills, my experience. Why, there's even my own blood and sauce on that canvas. They are part of a private collection now, Lord Kem's. Perhaps he'll grant you a viewing, but I doubt it. There's a reproduction on display at the cathedral. Not the same as viewing the original, of course, but it gives the great unwashed something to pray for. Of course I am. I painted the greatest works of art that Arx has ever seen. The sacrifice of Lucian. My opinion is the only one that matters. Sundries, oddments, and general miscellany available across the square. She nods a greeting, turns away. Where the smells? Oh, Mr. Smells! Please, you've got to help me. My wife, they want to kill her. She didn't do anything wrong. She was just trying to save lives, but no one will listen. You have to help. Please. Lucian's love. Thank you, but please, you have to hurry. Go! You approach, but the paladin's icy blue eyes never move from his prisoner. You are interrupting a paladin court. Stranger. You can't call this a court until the end of days, Kem. It's still a disgrace. The prisoner will be silent. We are beyond accusations. This once paladin is guilty of refusing orders and protecting supporters of the Black Ring. They were boys. Local boys that signed up for steady pay in a slick uniform. A couple of white traitors doesn't mean every magister is in league with the Ring. At best, you are a coward. At worst, you are a traitor. In either case, the sentence is death. His icy eyes focus on you for the first time, pinning you with a freezing look. Step aside, stranger. I see. You have my thanks for that. You did us a great service. Now, if you would do me one service more, stand aside. Kem pauses for half a moment, his eyes flickering to the troops around him. Perhaps, even in war, we may find space for mercy. Very well. She will not die today. The paladin looks at you as Kem turns away and silently mouths, thank you. Find a cell for her. And the rest of you have your duties. Move! You there! Be sure not to obstruct paladin business. We're to search this place top to bottom. We haven't, but we will. Not that it's any business of yours. What is this? Am I dreaming? I went to my bunk after patrol duties, and now... This... I'll wake up in a minute. Winslow's snoring always wakes me. This can't be real. 
What? I don't know anything about the Black Ring. I must be dreaming. I, I have to be. I saw her enter the city with the white. Or did I? Did I dream it? Um, am I dreaming you? Still can't believe the Magisters were in cahoots with the Black Ring. But with the Reds slain and the Whites ousted, maybe now we can restore the Divine Order to its former glory. It might be if you quit preoccupying me. If Kem says we'll find something, then we'll find something, and that's that. Oh, by the Divine, thank you. I'll never forget this kindness. I still can't believe the Magisters work together with a black ring. She sighs and gets back to work, combing through the rubble for evidence. Not yet. But if Lord Kem says to search, I'm going to search. For the safety of Rivalon, report all sorcerers to the nearest Magister. For the safety of Rivalon, Report all sorcerers to the nearest Magister. Blood spilled. Not much to show for it so far. Lord Kem's in no mood for suffering fools. We had better find some sign of the whites soon. Nothing! And Kem is getting restless. We've got to make something happen, and soon. For the safety of River, report all sorcerers to the nearest Magister. The paladin presses a wad of fresh bandages upon a steadily bleeding leg wound. For a moment, it seems to work, but then the bleeding suddenly gets worse. Damn it! Your blood for my blood. The paladin grits her teeth and readjusts her grip on the wound. I'll be a miss from this world soon if this bleeding wasn't slow. One of the magisters didn't know when he was beaten, drove a spear into my knee. He should have aimed higher, though. I didn't give him a chance to land a second blow. My thanks. This is just what I need. The potion takes effect. But then your ear catches the faintest sound of angry whispers, and the bleeding suddenly intensifies. The paladin clamps her hand over the wound in an effort to stem the flow of blood. What's going on? It looks like it's nearly stopped. Then it just starts again. Your blood for my blood, scum. The spirit of a magister jabs a spectral finger into the paladin's wound, while muttering some profane-sounding curse. I'll do as I please. This paladin filth hacked me down right here in our headquarters. She's going to suffer for what she did to me. The spirit thinks for a moment, then moves back from the paladin. Very well. I am done with this world. At last. 
Thank you. The wound's closed over. Thank you. Here, I found this on one of the Magisters. It looks valuable. Take it, with my thanks. Magisters fought with all the skill you would expect of peasants. Not that we were flawless. Of course, a victory is a victory, even if it comes at a cost. A few, but you could taste the Magisters' desperation. They even torched their own barracks to slow us down with the smoke. <laughs> a lot of good that did, eh? Boring. This fire was set on purpose. A spillage all over the floor. The plaque reads, Two, Order of Society. Bah! If there was anything important here, the Whites must have surely taken it. The plaque reads, Four, Loyalty to the Divine.
The plaque reads, Purity of Mind. Engraved on the plaque are the words, Discipline of Body. A combination lock is embedded into the face of the hatch with four numbered dials. A sequence of numbers has been engraved on the face of the mechanism. One, three, two, four. Below this are four dials. Each of the four dials bears four phrases that can be rotated into place. The first dial must be set. The mechanism clicks. The second dial has the same four phrases to select from. The mechanism clicks once again. The third dial bears the same options as before. Another click. One last dial remains, with the same phrases as all the others. The final dial clicks. Then, deeper within the mechanism, the sound of gears turning and a bolt withdrawing. The hatch yields, clicking open. No, it can't be. You cheated. some nobody the spirit vanishes whether he fled to the hall of echoes or elsewhere you cannot be sure someone worked hard to keep this place secret The man stares unblinkingly at his canvas, lost deep in his thoughts. The sewers running as red as the street. What do you think the paladins would do to us if they heard you going wrong like that? Parks was every city last time I checked. Bodies in the streets. I'm a lover. North, city square. West, Chem Mansion. South, city gate. East, the school district. Don't mind me, I ain't looking for trouble. Especially from the likes of you. You! Eyes over here, yeah? 
I know she's pretty, but my wife's here to work, not a gall cat. Now, what'll it be? Now that you're all done, why don't you just skedaddle on out of here? I'm just the one that hammers and such. You want the wares, you speak to my wife Fianola over there. Get moving. It's the busiest day of the year. You've got some fight in ya, then I've got what you need. If you've got some fight in ya, then I've got what you need. Roll up, roll up, don't be shy. If you've got some fight in ya, then I've got what you need. Get out of here, you dirty fuck. Got souls and 
If you've got some fight in you, then I've got what you need. yourself geared up. Shop here for sundries, oddments and general miscellany. Feel good. What are you looking for? I'm not picky, so long as the arrow flies straight. I've no problem with your kind, lizard. But plenty around arcs do. Tread carefully. Oh, yes. The town is all a twitter over your escapades at the gate. It's the perfect time to replace the hunting supplies you've lost, yes? May the land sustain you and the wild game Nature feed you, friend. Nature provides. Roll up, roll up, don't be shy. I welcome newcomers and Nathan's alike. We shall train, we shall talk. Nature provides. As a potion business going. Mixed. Very funny. Hunters, I've got the wares you need. I can hear voices. But I can't make them out. What the? You've got I was sure I saw a torchlight down there. Are you a hunter? I was I sure I saw torchlight down there. I can there. hear voices, but I can't Kin. make them out. They burn our flags and set our homes alight, but... Oh, I do beg your pardon. Are you... Well, goodness. Please do browse my tinctures at your leisure. Take all the time you must. Do return, should you out? find it necessary. Some are still good. What are you looking for? I'm not picky, so long as the arrow flies straight. Hunters, I've got the wares you need. They got damaged. Hunters, I've got the wares you need. You've got an ally in me. Hunters, I've 
hunters. I've got the wares. You I turn no business away. I've earned good gold in dealings with lizards in the past, but your kind are out of favour with many in arcs. I can't be seen talking to you, appearances and all. Some are still good. What you looking for? The elf stands in front of a cart displaying various sundries. He warmly motions to you and gives you a broad smile. Don't fret, my friend, and don't falter. You needn't call to Lucian for succor, for I am here to answer your purchasing prayers on this day of celebration. May the gods watch over you. I heard that the paladins killed unarmed Andy. magisters. Didn't even let them surrender. Not too loud. What do you think the paladins would do to us if they heard you going wrong like that? Parks is still a free city, last time I checked. There's bodies in the streets. This place isn't free, not anymore. I heard that the paladins killed unarmed magisters. Didn't even let them surrender. Not too loud. What do you think the paladins would do to us if they heard you going wrong like that? Parks is still a free city, last time I checked. There's bodies in the streets. This place isn't free, not anymore. I heard that the paladins killed unarmed magisters. Didn't even let them surrender. All those broken arrows. Not too loud. What do you think the paladins would do to us if they heard you going wrong like that? Parks is still a free city. Last time I checked. There's bodies in the streets. This place isn't free, not anymore. I welcome newcomers and natives alike. We shall train. We shall talk. Don't want no trouble, lizard. Just, just leave me alone. Those bloody paladins are the only reason why any of your lot can still show your faces around there, lizard. We good people in Arx. We don't want your kind. Paladins killed unarmed magisters. Didn't even let them surrender. You always bring me to such wonderfully destructive places. I'll never find somewhere quiet to settle down at this rate. Truly savor my company, Godwoken. Something you wanted? Like to take a look at what I've been by all means.
must be booming for you. All their broken weapons. Dead Magisters don't tend to buy weapons. She nods a greeting. Still, the Paladin. I've spotted something. For the safety of Rivalon, report all sorcerers to the nearest Magister. A spillage all over the floor. For the safety of, the safety of report River, all sources, report all to, the sources, sources Magister. to the nearest Magister. For the safety of Rivalon, report all sorcerers to the nearest Magister. North, Cathedral. West, Chem Mansion. The man glowers South, from under City his Gates. hood. You can't see his eyes, but you know they are trained on you. They call you a slayer of giants. If you strike from the shadows as effectively as you strike in the light, you may find my supplies invaluable. More likely than you think. Even for one as blindingly colourful as you. But it means keeping your pride in check. Hubris gains the attention of wicked eyes. Luckily, I have the tools you need to stay concealed. Is there more on your mind? Come this way, but be quick. West. Ancient Empire Consulate. East, City Square. South, City Gates.
for the safety of Riverland, report all sorcerers to the nearest Magister. I'll need to get clever with this lock. I'll be Lucian, and you can be the Icky Void Woken. But I don't want to be the Void Woken. I'm always the Void Woken. You fight me, Damien. I'm Lucian and I'll kill you. I'll be Lucian and you can be the icky void woken. To be the void woken. Probably flows straight into the river. Probably flows straight into the river. Looks like it's heading to the river. Looks like it's heading to the river. But I don't want to be the void woken. I'm always the void woken. Leave me alone, I'm busy. Our parents will be busy praying all day. We can stay out and play as long as we like. Don't you fight me, Damien. I'm Lucian and I'll kill you. My big brother said a voidling will come and eat my shoes if I don't do his chores. I don't want a voidling to eat my shoes. And you can be the For the safety of Riverlon, report all sorcerers to the nearest oh, Majesty. For the safety of Riverlon, report all sorcerers to the nearest Majesty. You have the trust of Lord Arthur. The guard ignores you. What if someone's still in there? The guard ignores you, then you the winks. Show that you deserve it. Move along there, citizen. Gods, those flames! And Void Woken, here in our sanctuary! Our sanctuary! The ancient Empire Consulate. We were swarmed by Void Woken, and everything just caught fire! We couldn't quench it! What if someone is still there, and those monsters, my gods! You'd go in there? Zol Stissa, bless you! Please, save what you can, who you can. The guard ignores you. The guard ignores you. I help you to know and understand. Most marvelous magic right at your fingertips. The elf raises her head and peers down her nose at you. This is a place for scholarly pursuits. You do not look the scholarly sort. Need anything magical? She sniffs loudly. I don't expect a great intellect to offer much welcome at all. But I respect your point. While most residents of Arcs lunge for each other's kneecaps, I see you seek a better way. She nods silently. Need anything magical? The arcane dwells within all of us.
We are done here. Academics and intellectuals only. Magical. She studiously ignores you. Ancient Never saw you Lord. before, Lizard. Welcome to Arx. Care to see a trick? The merchant snaps his fingers, and a small flame emerges from his forefinger. He blows it out as he would a candle, and smoke wafts forth. Well, it's not a very dramatic stunt, but kids like it, and doesn't freak out their parents. But I presume you're after something a little more sensational, no? Unhappy? Yes. They've been scattered by fog and wind to every corner of the world. And like most elves, these ones wait for something, someone. I suspect they pray for a salvation that may or may not arrive. As for me... He waves his palm through the air. A trail of multicoloured smoke trails behind it to form a hazy rainbow. He then blows into the rainbow, and it dissipates into a dozen formless wisps. I create my own happiness. All done. Ancient knowledge yours to command. My stuff will get you started at least. Merchant Ros and his pals, their stock's exceptional. You might want to check his place out once that wedding's over and done. Sabeel's voice sounds from over your shoulder. I would speak with Sir Hela, my kin. Most marvelous magic, right Thank you. Sabeel, it gives me joy to see you. You continue to become the great scion. This is good, for we stand on the edge of the abyss. Are you prepared for the coming war? The mother is dead, and we are free of her terrible plan. The age of the mother is over. The shackles of the past are broken. We shall take our rightful place in the new world. War is coming. We shall harrow the earth with the blood of humans, lizards and dwarves, and from it a new forest shall grow. It gives me joy to see you, Sabeel. Sahela keeps her expression carefully blank. Sabeel turns away. She looks troubled. Isn't it obvious? She's insane. The elves suffer, but the elves still stand. You have not seen the end of us. The mother is dead and we are free. The war of the races approaches. The elves shall stand. You shall not see the end of us. It gives me joy to see you. You have made much of yourself. The mother is dead. War is coming. It gives me joy to... She blanks you. Greetings, stranger. May the dawn greet you warmly, and the twilight guide you to peace. I've little for sale beyond the very history of the elven people. I sell not just goods, but memories wisely chosen.
He blanks you. Most marvelous magic right at your fingertips. I catch my soul. Monster Slayer, rest assured we have your back. Village all over the floor. Shoot, you flea bag, shoot! The kitchen sink for all that you didn't even know you needed. What a pile of junk. It got damaged in your fight. It'll fix up just fine. The elf stands. Don't fret, my lady. As I promised, miracles at a modest price. Didn't even let them surrender. Not too loud. What do you think the paladins would do to us if they heard you going wrong like that? I serve all who seek aid, sir. I heard that the paladins killed unarmed magistrates. Didn't even let them surrender. All those broken arrows. Too loud. Some are still good. What you're looking for? Giant slay. May the land sustain you and the wild game feed you, friend. Hunters. The most do return, should you find it necessary. Thank the gods for Lord Cam, eh? He sorted out them void woken. Now, what'll it be? Hunters, I've got the way. I welcome you, Thomas. Nathan's What's going on? I smell terrible things I do. I smell fear and blood and doom and death and something else. Something worse. It's coming from under the city. Get to it or get now that you're all done. Why don't you just skedaddle on out of here? Busiest 
you've got some fight in you, then I've got what you need. Hear ye, hear ye. I hear the rumble of water. Nothing more. Hear ye, hear ye. Suspect and Alexander murder found dead in driftwood. Hear ye, hear ye. Magister's rooted. Lord Kem's paladin's back in charge. Hear ye, hear ye. Void woken attacks increase. Citizens warned to be alert. Hear ye, hear ye. Kraken sighted at sea. Several ships missing. Hear ye, hear ye. Magister's colluded with Black Ring. Paladin's clean house. Hear ye, hear ye. Queen Justinia confronts rebel factions. Dwarven royal stands tall. Hear ye, hear ye. Paladins promise the good council school will reopen soon. People respond, no hurry. Hear ye, hear ye. Trouble brewing in the ancient empire. Dallas strengthens border defenses. Hear ye, hear ye. Lucian's day arrives. Hopeful pilgrims take the path of blood. Not if you're without sin, it isn't. Hear ye, hear ye. Dwarven wedding interrupted by Void Woken. Brave dwarves party on. Hear ye, hear ye. Cranley Hubert publishes latest edition. New book already out of date. Hear ye, hear ye. That's all the news that's fit to shout. Hear ye, hear ye. Suspect in Alexander murder found dead in Driftwood. Paladin's clean house. What do you think the paladins would do 